everyone, Viper here, or uh, ExperPhD on YouTube, and today we're going to be learning how to do the uh, track mat feature in After Effects. Um, if you're not sure what track mat is, I'm just going to show you an example right now. So that's basically what it is, guys, and before we get any further into the tutorial, I want to say thanks to um, the tutorial market. They're really cool, guys, and they uploaded my last tutorial, and they really helped me out a lot, and I got really positive feedback from the uh, community over there. So uh, thanks to everybody over there, and uh, thanks in advance, I guess, if they upload this tutorial. So let's get into it now, just open up After Effects. Uh, I think this can be done on Sony Vegas as well, but I'm not sure. But basically what it is, is just making the text come out from the wall, as you just saw, or from wherever you want it to come out. So I'm going to make it just come out from this wall, just to make it simple for the tutorial, to make the tutorial not drag on for too long. But you get the idea, basically. So what I'm going to do is make a new layer, make a new solid layer. And it has to be the colour of what you want the text colour to be. So I'm just going to make it white, and click OK. And you can just make it invisible when, for now so you can see what you're doing by clicking the little icon over on the eye icon over by the left side of the page and it goes invisible. And if you're wondering how the clip looks so smexy right now, it's because I have some colour correction added to it and some blur and stuff, but uh yeah you can what the hell just happened? I don't know why I just unsmexified, but uh still. Anyway, let's get into it. Um what we're gonna do now is just get get our mask tool or a pen tool. Uh make sure it's on pen tool not delete or add vertex or whatever, just pen tool and I'm just going to mask out the wall while the white solid is selected so i us just zoom in here and I'm actually just going to speed this up because um, well it could take a while because I want to get this perfect but obviously you can take it in more detail alright so I have that wall done right there and I'm just going to go right all the way around the side so that the text doesn't pop out from any angles and just connect it back up. I'm just going to zoom in again. And we basically have our mask right there. If we click on our little eye icon again, it'll pop up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on M over the text of the um, solid layer. It'll bring up our mask and we're just going to change this to subtract. So now the actual solid's over there rather than in this side. And what we're going to do is you can just make it invisible again for now. And make a text layer. So this can be whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to make it, and you know, I'll make it down here. So you guys can see it. Actually, it's not going down there, but anyway. Two to real. Alright, okay. So, basically what we're going to do right now is just going to drag that below the solid layer. And nothing happens right now. You can still drag it around the wall and nothing will happen. So what you need to do is, on your text layer, you need to go to Effect. Uh, sorry, Layer, Track Mat, and Alpha Mat. Now basically, this is what it does. So you can see it just comes in from the wall here, and if I go to the solid and click M and then F, I can actually change the feather to maybe let's say two. Not you don't want to go too extreme because um, otherwise it'll just look crappy. So I'm gonna put mine at two for now. Basically, it'll just go in and out of that, and um, we can just make text come out and go back in and whatever. And I'm just gonna add a bit of movement to the text like you saw in the uh, the video. So I'm just gonna click position. Actually, I need a keyframe this to come out, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click, make it come down here, click position, go forward a second or so. You can you can get it perfect, but I'm not going to just be, just to speed up the tutorial a little bit. Bring it out, and go forward a few seconds, bring it back in, and I'm getting Skyped right now. And then, um, actually, no, we need to have it, sorry about this, guys, delete this. You want to keep it, you want to make it to like actually stay out there for a while so I'm just going to click the triangle again or the, the little diamond over here to make another keyframe then go forward a second or two and drag it back down and now it's just going to come if we play it a little bit it's just going to come out and go back in it's not going to look too professional so what we're going to do is we're just going to click on we're going to we have position open right now so I'm going to hold down alt and click on the stopwatch type in wiggle open bracket 1 uh, comma 15 and that's perfect for text. Um, now it'll just add a, bit, a little bit of shake, a little bit of movement to the text as you can see there. But it's not enough, so I'm going to do rotation. Same thing, hold down Alt on rotation. To get rotation, by the way, just press R on your keyboard. Wiggle, 1, and un, and uh, comma 3. 3 is perfect for uh, rotation. And I got those settings off Rob Taser, so uh, um, I don't know, credit to him, I suppose. So you can see there's just a bit, little bit of movement to it. And it pops back inside the um, the wall. So that's basically it for the tutorial, guys. If you liked it, please click the like button. It really helps. And uh, if you're watching this on any other channel, please come check me out. Uh, it would be great help. 
and um, yeah guys so see you later